Hello everyone and welcome to another top 5 board gaming video. Today is all about DC Comics. <clears throat> But that said, I won't be doing the Batman voice the whole time. So as you probably know, not too long ago, I did a Marvel Comics board game video, and I'm excited to follow it up with a DC Comics board game video. So essentially, these are the two giants of comic books of all time and all this kind of stuff. But that said, Marvel has been much more successful in recent years, particularly on the big screen, while DC has been at least a little bit more successful on the small screen with TV shows. Both of them, though, have very successful video game as well as board game franchises, so I'm excited to share my personal favorites with all of you. Of course, as always, I want to hear what your favorites are. What do you like in the DC Universe and why? Let me know anything in the comments below, but with that, we are going to get started with my number five. At number five, I've got DC Dice Masters. This is at the bottom of the list simply because we also have Marvel Dice Masters. These are essentially the exact same game with a different coat of paint atop them. That said, they are really, really good. They're really fascinating and it requires a lot of strategy to play them well. I don't personally like them too, too much because I'm not a big fan of collectible games in that sense, but I love the fact that you've got different cards that associate with different dice and so you can have really heavy strategy simply based based off of building a particular dice pool for any given game. It's a fun idea, and for people who enjoy collectibles, it's wonderful. For me personally, it's not that great, but it definitely has the DC theme through and through. And so in that sense, it's really good. DC Dice Master is my number five. At number four, I've got Batman miniatures. So as always, we have to have some kind of miniatures running around doing whatever they have to do. In this particular case, we have a fairly standard skirmish game where you've got the good guys versus the bad guys. You've got point by systems, terrain, all of that kind of stuff. Pretty standard stuff, but it is well executed in this particular case. It's a solid game. It's well done. And there's a bunch of miniatures that you can get to expand it. In addition, there's a second edition of the game that was recently released so you can get it fairly readily. Batman Miniatures, my number four. At number three, I've got Gotham City Chronicles. This is a relatively unique game in that it's an all versus one. So one player will play as a villainous team with henchmen, the main bad guy, all of that kind of stuff, and everybody else is gonna play as heroes going against them. I like this conceptually because it feels more like the comic books in terms of you've got everybody against this one guy. Everyone is teaming up and you're doing sort of a Justice League type of thing. And it works really well and it's a lot of fun again, because you have that asymmetric gameplay between playing as the villain versus playing as one of the good guys, and all of the good guys have their own unique capabilities and things that they can do during the game. So it makes it a lot of fun and a very unique experience as well. Gotham City Chronicles, my number three. At number two, I've got Batman the Animated Series, Gotham Under Siege. I loved the animated series when I was a kid and I watched it as much as I could. I was so excited to hear that this game was announced and I was even more excited to hear that it's not only a cooperative game, but it's also a cooperative game that's pretty good. This even has a solo play mode. It has miniatures that show you Gotham City so that you can actually move through the buildings and all of that kind of thing. It's really, really well done. It's a lot of fun. And again, it's everybody at the table working towards a com common goal, as opposed to Chronicles, where it's all versus one. Both of them are good in their own ways, but I'm a little bit more privy towards the cooperative, not to mention the idea of the Batman animated series, personally. Still great game overall, and you can set it up for different villains and all that kind of thing. Tons of fun, and Gotham Under, Under Siege is my number two. At number one, I've got the DC Deck Builder. That's right, it is the legendary rivalry between the two deck building games of Marvel and DC. In this case, I actually like DC Deck Builder more than I like Marvel Legendary. I like the way that the villains are set up a little bit more. I like the fact that you are playing as a particular character in DC Deck Builder as well. I love that you have um, more freedom and more variety in the cards that you can get, where you can get layers and things of that nature 
nature so that you can get particular bonuses all throughout the game. It's got a lot of little things like that that I really enjoy. Of course, similarly to Legendary, you also have massive bloat when it comes to a lot of the expansions and things like that, but I personally don't even own DC Deck Builder, so it's not a big deal for me, but when I play other people's copies, I still have a blast. It's a great game and a ton of fun. DC Deck Builder, my number one. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for me. I hope that you enjoyed this video on my top five favorite DC Universe board games. Again, just like with Marvel, there are a lot of options here, and I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about it because a lot of these are kind of reskinned. Obviously, a lot of them are very similar conceptually, and so I wonder what you guys think. Do you find it to be too samey? Do you find the IPs to just sort of meld together and be cash grabs or things like that? Because personally, Personally, I have a hard time discerning some of the games from one another, but I'm just curious what you all have to say. And of course, I still want to know what your personal favorites are in the category, so let me know in the comments below. As always, also, if you haven't done so already, please take a look at my various social media pages where you can interact with myself and my channel in a whole bunch of fun ways. If you are still under quarantine for COVID-19, also, please stay inside, stay safe until we're able to ride this whole thing out together. And I hope that you are all healthy and well. But with that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.